Guys, here it is, garlic. Before we get started, let's just understand this king of the allium family. Here is a baby garlic. And, and yes, believe it or not, the bulb is underground, the roots come from here, and this is what comes out. And you can see the resemblance to other onion family members, although it is much harder. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure there. And that's why you get this woody stalk. Essentially what you wanna do is cut off the woody stalk and also expose the top of all the garlic cloves. You kinda try and get like a third to a quarter of the way up. Beautiful. Pungent, spicy garlic aromas. Aluminum foil, tin foil. You gotta do olive oil. Really get it in there, and when it spills over, that's okay. But fill it up. And this is gonna poach slash braise and basically make them squeezable and spreadable. Salt, nice healthy pinch all around. You gotta put some pepper. And if this is all you have, guys, that's fine. A rosemary, a thyme, sure. Throw those in. Do you need it? No. Could you use dried herbs? Sure, no problem. And what we're gonna do is make fornino. We're gonna make little ovens, right? So just try and get the sides up. You know, that's the most important piece right there. In combination with the long, high heat cooking time in the oven, it takes all the spiciness out of the garlic and makes it a delicious, soft, mellow flavor bomb that can literally go on top of everything. I like to go around 400 here. And the idea is that olive oil has a, a pretty high smoke point. It's not quite 400, but we do want to be pushing the limits. Plus there's natural moisture that's gonna keep that temperature down in the garlic. But we do want it to cook. You don't, you don't want it to take forever. You want it to try and take 45 minutes. So you do need to hit it with hard heat and check on it. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Squeeze those cloves out. That shows you how soft they are, look at that. I have a piece of bread because I want you to see how spreadable this is. It's the vegan foie gras. Roasted garlic is super duper amazing. You can put it on your roasted vegetables. You can dollop it on top of your salads. Mashed potatoes. Anywhere you can put salt and pepper, you can put this. Really, I, I guarantee it. It's an elevator, and you need it because the stairs aren't cool anymore.